Hey there, friends, Nibs again. Out here in a garage today and doing a little bit of plinking, a little bit of playing around with a couple of pellet guns. <clears throat> this particular one we're gonna be taking a look at today actually belongs to one of my coworkers. And uh, he asked me to take a look at it. He was having a little bit of trouble getting it sighted in. And uh, as it turns out, the, <laughs> the scope he had on there was not, not really great. Um, so I ended up just uh, throwing one of my uh, CV Life 3 to 9 by 40s on here. And uh, <clears throat> this one was one that was actually sent to me free to do an evaluation on. So I'm not going to charge him anything for the uh, scope either. But I also have a, I hooked him up with a silencer. And honestly, I don't know who made that one so I'm not going to mention any names that way nobody will be uh, <laughs> nobody will be hurt feelings or anything like that but uh, I've gotten I've gotten silencers from three or four different uh, 3d printing companies I don't believe it's the one that I normally uh, uh, am used to uh, promoting on the channel so I won't name any other names so nobody has any hurt feelings but uh, working pretty good on here for him. This thing is quiet as a mouse fart uh, in church. <laughs> and uh, we're going to go ahead and shoot. I'm still 21 yards here, approximately from here to the, the back wall or front wall of the garage here. <clears throat> and I've got it pretty well zeroed in using Meister Coogans. I've got a couple other ones out here we're going to try out as well. But uh, it was doing really good with the Meister Coogans. So We'll start out with those, and then we'll move on to uh, try something else. So we'll just do a couple of five-shot groups. Um, but let me give you a little... So this, <laughs> I didn't even say what it is. This is a uh, Legacy 1000, which is uh, a very current production Crossman. And uh, per the date code, it looks like it was made in uh, April of 1920... or. 2020. It's a 19, 2020 gun. So five pumps gives us really good uh, speed and accuracy. So do not like these loading ports. On this goes all the way back to the 766 and then 2100, and now the Legacy 1000. So not very good. So let's see, let's go to let's go to twelve o'clock with this one. Very quiet. The uh, pellet hitting the board down down range is much louder than the gun going off. I need to do a few clicks to the left, it appears. looking pretty good that's that's really good for one of these guns for 20 yards 21 yards we I don't know what the uh, when I pump it I had the same thing on my hundredth anniversary one when you you pump it it kind of feels when you actually pull it out it feels like metal dragging on metal I don't have that with my 766 or either of my 2100s can't go wrong with that I might have to send a 
ten of these Meisterkugens home with my coworker too. <laughs> They are a pretty awesome gun. Crossman did a pretty good job with them. <clears throat> All right, that's the Meister Coogans. Pretty darn good, one ragged hole. Let's go, we're gonna go with some 7.9 green uh, Crossman Premier hollow points now. Maybe I'll cut it off after this one for you guys. I, I do have some uh, some of the 10.5 Ultra Magnums out here as well, and some some of the Air Arms Diablo Fields. But uh, I don't think I'll keep you guys on for all of that, but maybe I'll just uh, post a picture of the results from, from those. Ah, come on. I don't know what they were thinking about making this loading port so tiny like this. I'm gonna go to nine o'clock. Not a terrible trigger, it's a little little heavy. Typical uh, stock crossman trigger. All right, not nearly as good as the uh, Meister Coogan so far, but uh, still not terrible. Looks like that first one was kind of a flyer, but the rest of them are stacking up pretty good. Fortunately, I didn't go buy any Kentucky Fried Chicken to grease the pellets with, so I'll have to try that another day. Yeah, other than that first one, that was a pretty darn good group. Let's see, I got some time left. Let's uh, let's try these uh, Ultra Magnums. So these are a 10.5 green. They're a full dome. There's five. We'll get. the center with this one. Got a little bit of drop there. Kind of expected that. A couple greens heavier. So they're 3.5 greens heavier than the Meister Coogans and 2.6 greens heavier than the Premier's. pretty cold out it's not too bad but it's they're calling for rain it isn't raining yet but they've been calling for rain and there's green on the radar all around me so I decided to just come over here and you know not uh, 
take the chance driving all the way to the range, get everything set up, and then have it start to rain on me. <laughs> My luck, it'll not rain at all because I didn't go over there. All right, well, I don't think it's doing so good with the, these heavier ones. I was kind of expecting that. This, these are kind of a, not a super high power gun. Not a terrible group. Definitely a minute of squirrel. And right in the middle, it looks like a five on a domino. But anyway, I'm not gonna bother with the other ones, but uh, you guys see this thing is shooting really pretty darn good. Uh, very quiet with the silencer. Got a new CV Life three to nine by 40 on there. Um, the other one was just it looked like the same scope, pretty much, but uh, I could not get that thing to focus. Didn't matter low or high or in between. <laughs> uh, it was just really blurry. The uh, crosshairs were really blurry on it. It did not have any name on it. It didn't even say made in China. It just, the only thing it said was three to nine by 40 on the bell. I don't know where it came from. He said he got it from his father. Didn't know where his father got it from, but uh, he wasn't emotionally attached to it, so we're gonna change it out with something a lot nicer. These three to nine by 40 CV Lifes are, you know, really, really cheap, but they're a great scope, just a great scope. So anyway, the uh, Legacy 1000 doesn't disappoint. Really nice groups. Uh, worst one was the, the Ultra Magnums, but uh, None of them were a disappointment at all. The Meisterkugans are one ragged hole, so I think those are the ones I'll recommend that he uses. But anyway, hope you guys liked the video. There is the Crossman Legacy 1000. I do have a uh, the 100th anniversary edition of this guy back home in the garage as well. But I wanted to get this one out with my co for my coworker, get it taken care of for him. Hope you guys liked the video. Till next time. Have a great day.